Welcome bitches, one and all, to my reaction to Season 2, Episode 12 of The Vampire Diaries, The Descent. Now, last time we were introduced to a new character, Jules, who is a fellow werewolf. Now, it's surprising with how rare they are that another one is in Mystic Falls, so... We're going to be seeing what her true intentions are. She did know Mason, and she was on the phone to someone else talking about Mason, so... I wonder if there is a group, or if she was just talking to another person, who knows, we're going to find out. We had the first full moon for Tyler, he transformed, Caroline helped him through it, and even though it was a rough night and very emotional and very hard, at least we know he can get through it, and more importantly, he knows he can get through it. Now, speaking of Jules, at the end of the episode, she did go in and attack Damon and Rose, and bit Rose on the shoulder, so we're going to be getting a first-hand look into how that affects vampires, because we know that it kills them, but... How long will it take? What is its effects? Can it be helped? Can it be fully cured? I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. But yes, without further ado, let's go. Oh, there she is. I wonder if it was intentional, her attacking Rose, or if she just hunted the nearest vampires she could find. Oh no, did she kill campers? Oh my god. God, with how nonchalant she's doing this, you can tell that she's done it before. Oh, shit. Fuck, what is she gonna do? Morning! Oh, uh, okay. It was an animal. A wolf. Are you okay? Oh, shit. Yes, but my friends, they're all dead. I mean, it's very suspicious that you have absolutely zero injuries. How could three people be mauled to death and you've got no injuries? Oh my god. I know that we watch this show and we're dealing with vampires who literally hunt humans, but there's something so much more brutal about the idea of a werewolf who... Yes, she has heightened aggression, and I don't know if they have heightened emotions or anything, but to see someone just so casually kill someone when you know that they don't have an emotion switch, they can't just turn off their guilt and all that, she's literally just doing it. Jesus Christ. Oh, that makes me feel just so uncomfortable, and the way she just so nonchalantly was picking up body parts. You, like, you wonder how many people she has killed before. How can Elijah compel another vampire? He's an original. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think yeah, yeah, <laughs> I don't think anyone does. Except maybe Isabel. Mm. I should ask her. Yeah, she did have a research book. Are we going to be seeing her again then? Come on, just a little werewolf fight. Just a little fatal to a vampire werewolf fight. Yeah. According to legend, which is a notoriously unreliable source. Yeah, but you still should be weary of it and try and do some research. It's going to be a lot worse, isn't it? Yep. Lovely. How is it? Uh, awful, Rose. Fucking awful. You are literally decaying. It's not bad. Where's Stefan? He left. I need you to talk to him. He's convinced that he has to find Isabel. I mean, Elena, I think we all need to find Isabel. Damon. Is she gonna die? Elena, super hearing. I'm sorry. Death happens. We come, we go. As soon as she dies, the better. Oh my god. Alright. Someone seems to be covering up his emotions. Why is there always something happening at this school? Like, seriously, there is always some event happening. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm sore. Every muscle aches. You did it. Small victories, Tyler. Last time was Hell a victory. Yeah. Now let's take it. Hell yeah! Oh, well done, Caroline. I really want to thank you. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there. Ah, I know what I said. I don't mind them getting together as a couple. I don't mind it. The issue that I have is not with them specifically. It's that I want there to be male-female friendships in this show that don't lead to romance. You know, it's just such a big trope in TV. Always women are friends with women and men's are friends with men. And then the second that men become friends with women... The idea of romance ensues. It's like, oh, for goodness sake. Just please have platonic friendships, please. Oh, uh, is that the, uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, left Damon a message. So you're doing his dirty work for him now? They, they have got a lot closer, him and Alaric. Catherine said that Isabel knew of Klaus. 
So this isn't about Rose. It's about Elena. Yep, it's always about Elena Alaric. Let's see if I can find the number. If I do, I'll text it to you. I only edited the episode 21 of season one the other day. So it hasn't been long for me since I've seen Isabel. So it'll be interesting to see how she's changed in this time. Or if she has. You've never been in Damon's room before, have you? <laughs> Lucky you, Elena. <laughs> You're lucky, you know. No one's ever loved me the way you love. Aww. I spent all those years on the run from the leisure. I just never thought it was a good idea to set up roots. Yeah, because the second you do, you make targets. You really are determined to die, aren't you? At least I ran, you're not even trying. Wow, thank you, Rose. Elena needs to hear that. Because it is true, Elena just seems to be on this destructive path of just giving up. And she's somehow convinced herself that taking this deal is her best option when no it feels like the only reason elena is staying alive is for everyone else do you know what i mean it just it feels like she's fully given up on herself and it's just so sad to see elena elena need more blood yeah of course here uh don't you feed on elena that's my concern right now you've literally got a human next to you <laughs> oh no Oh no, this was my fear. Cause it Oh god. She took Vervain, she took Vervain. She took Vervain. You Katarina, you did this. Elena, Ross, Ross, I'm Elena. Betrayed us. I'm not Catherine. Oh my god. I was gonna say this is my fear that it's it's an illness, yeah, but you don't know how it affects your mental mind. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know how it affects you. She seems to be having memory issues. She seems to be hallucinating. Like, everything in her mind is just becoming fucked because we saw that it's rotting away at her back. It can rot her brain as well. It's me. It's totally... Oh my God, Elena, I'm so sorry. Oh, Rose, I feel so bad for you. It was just for a second. I'm sorry, don't be scared of me. I'm not... I'm not... Oh, her main concern was don't be scared of me. That's... <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad for her. So much time wasted. I just wish I hadn't been so afraid. You think 560 years you've been alive when the majority of it has been on the run? Isabel, it's Stefan Salvatore. I, um, I need to speak with you. It's about Elena. Please know that it's important. <laughs> Immediately walks through the door. Oh shit, no! What are you doing here? I'm waiting for you. Listen. <laughs> waiting for you. Well done, Stefan. I'm going to have a friendly chat with Lady Wolf, brother. Ease up. Because having a chat with her before was so helpful. You won't live to see another full moon. Unless you tell me how to cure wolf bite. Oh. And then I won't kill you. Promise. Bite me. No. No, wait. I'm not afraid of you. No. I think she means it. Bite her. You want a cure? I'll tell you the only cure that exists. Take a stake and drive it through her heart. Fuck you. But does werewolf blood cure it? That's my that's my thought process. Oh god, she's off again. Lena. <gasps> oh my god, not the basement. Yeah. Katarina. No. She has Vervain. She has Vervain. Oh, nice, Elena. Nice one. Nice one. Fucking hell, though, Rose. Oh, my God. any more of this this is too much oh my god the stress i can't do it elena i know that that's like a last resort but elena i know that it's you and not Catherine. <laughs> oh I, you can't open the door you can't open the door i kissed you i know i i was there so why'd you run away 
Matt, like, you see, the problem in this show is people always ask why, and you can never tell them why. <laughs> what do you want me to say, Matt? Something, I mean, anything. How, how did you feel? Anything in the realm of truth right now would be nice. Ooh. What are you keeping from me, Kara? Look, if you love me, you'll tell me. It's not that simple, Matt. Elena, what are you doing? Honestly, this girl is a death wish. She really does. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Why do I feel like this could be a jump scare? Oh no, it's even worse. <laughs> Where's Rose? Yeah, Damon. I don't know. You left a rabid vampire with a human. <laughs> what the fuck did you think was gonna happen? Oh, mate, I think you're about to die. It's the only time we're shown a random extra when they're near a vampire, they die. Are you okay? No, but neither are you. Yep. That was close by, Liz. What happened? A vampire. Luckily, one of my deputies discovered the body before anyone else saw it. Shit. Hey, Stefan, it's me. I don't know where you are, but please call me. Important. I believe he's seeing Catherine. No. <laughs> Isabel. <laughs> Better be seeing Catherine. Some maintenance man had a heart attack. Oh, God. Just dropped dead. Oh, God. She's in your car, guys. I think she's in your car. Oh, no way. Is he? Eddie? Oh my god. She's on a killing spree. Rose! Rose! It's me! It's Damon. Oh my god, guys. I really can't handle this episode. It's really fucking me up. Did I do this? Yeah, you no. did. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I never wanted to hurt anyone. We know. We know. We know. It's that bitch Jules. Every single death that is caused by Rose right now is down to Jules. Please don't kill her. Please. I really like her. Sorry, Elena. I don't like taking human life. I never have. What's the worst part about it? The need to kill. Thirst. Pleasure brings you up to it. It wasn't meant to be evil. I think these are important things for Elena to hear. He wants to care. And then he does, he runs away from it. <sighs> I'm sorry for what I've done to do. <sighs> I know. And you need to fight. I know that you're scared, but you have to do it anyway. Swear to God, if Stefan doesn't get a cure or Jules doesn't help, I will go into the show and murder the bitch myself. Hey. Where have you been? Oh, that little smitten smile. We need to talk. Why? Oh no, Tyler. Here we go. Why would you risk it? If a werewolf bite kills a vampire? Why would you risk it? Because she cares about you. I don't understand you, Caroline. Uh, why is it so hard for you to let someone else help you? <laughs> It's like you don't want anyone to care about you. And I'm sorry, I cared. I care, Tyler. So forgive me if I overstep my boundaries by actually giving it. Yeah, but I fucking knew it was coming. Everyone just needs to stop kissing me. <laughs> yes, they do. Leave her alone. Oh my God. You see, the problem is, I always have this in this show. The problem is they are cute together and I like them together. But... It's just so fucking awkward. Like, Matt is his best friend, and Matt is Caroline. I don't even know if you could call it X, because the only reason they're not together is because Caroline is trying to be wary of Matt's safety and trying to protect him. That's why they're not together. It's not because he did anything or she doesn't love him. So it's like, so much more complicated. I don't know. It's like, I won't be mad if they get together, but good fucking luck to how you're going to tell Matt after everything you've done to him before, Tyler. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, are we gonna see the past? It's crazy to think what it was like in the 1400s to then what it's like in modern day. How different the world changed around them. This was my favorite place to come as a girl. How did you know? Word gets around. Is she imagining it or are they doing that psychic dream thing? I miss this. I miss being human. Humanity's not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> I had friends, I had a family, and that's it. You still do? No. But you do. You've built a life, whether you want to admit it or not. Anne, you were ruining our perfect day with your strange philosophical bath. <laughs> Aww. They're really cute together. I really hope she doesn't die. I've really liked her as a character. The pain's gone. Aww. I'm not afraid anymore. Aww. Is she going? No. Please, no. Also, for Damon's sake as well. Because we know he cares about her. On the count of three. One. Two. That's really upset me. I loved her. Fuck's sake. I need a minute. That's pissed me off. Fuck you, Jules. Seriously, I... I hate her now. I really do. I hope she dies the most gruesome and brutal death. You murder her, Damon, please, for me. What do you want from me? Just to be your friend. Oh, fuck off, Jules. Don't you dare go near Tyler. I know about Mason and you. You know what? <laughs> what I do you think? I know you're a werewolf, and I know your little friend Caroline is a vampire. How do you know about Caroline? You can't sniff them out. <laughs> oh my god. You are brand new. Yeah. How many times have you turned? Once. Hey, I can help you. He doesn't need you. You can back the fuck off. Do you know where Mason is? He's dead, Tyler. He was murdered. Oh my god. You wanna know who murdered him? It just stopped. Your little blonde vampire did. No. She and her little vampire friends were behind it, Tyler. Caroline is the only vampire in town. Oh, Tyler. This town is crawling with vampires. The problem with stuff like this is, T Caroline hasn't told Tyler because Stefan and Damon told her not to. And so she's been keeping that part secret. But then when someone comes along who isn't a good person, but is giving you the truth. It gives the illusion that they are the better person. So it's just fucked everything up now. I'm your friend. There are others like us and they're on their way. On their way. See, this is what I think. Is there some kind of like order of werewolves? Like they're all in contact with each other. Damon, I'm your friend. I'm well aware of that. And a friend usually knows when their friend is hurting. What do you want to hear? That I cared about Rose? That I'm upset? Well, I didn't. And I'm not. Don't lie to us or yourself. I feel, Lena. Okay? And it sucks. What sucks even more is that it was supposed to be me. Oh, Jules yeah. Jules was coming after me. He fucked up and it resulted in her death. You don't want to talk about giving up. It's all you've done is give up. Go. There's been enough doom, gloom, and personal growth for one night. Okay. I will. I honestly don't think you should leave him. Well done, Elena. Let it out, Damon. Mm. It's so sad when you can see, like, the... Con not confusion, the, like, two sides of his brain fighting each other of the show emotion, hide emotion. It is a really big struggle for him. Stefan, you're home. Where have you been, bitch? I'm sorry, I had to. It's okay. What did she say? Did you find her? Not exactly. Hello, Elena. Oh, fuck off. Uncle John. Oh, I thought we'd seen the last of that twat.
That's Damon, isn't it? I'm lost. You're laying in the middle of the road? <sighs> Not that kind of lost. Oh, no. You're drunk. No. Uh, yeah, it's a little maybe. Yeah, love run. <gasps> don't move. I don't want any trouble. Neither do I. That's all I got is trouble. Damon, don't. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica. I have a secret. Oh. This is who I am, Jessica. Are you gonna hurt me? I'm not sure. Oh, God. Do I kill you? Do I not kill you? Please don't. But I have to, Jessica. You don't. I'm not human. And I miss it. I miss it more than anything in the world. That is my secret. But there's only so, so much hurt a man can take. Please don't. Don't do it, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Damon, I thought we were having some progress. Fuck's sake. I have to say, I am really disappointed in Damon. I know that he's struggling. He's going through a lot and dealing with the loss of Rose and also everything that she was saying about missing humanity and the things that she missed in her life and the fact that being a vampire just isn't the same as being human and all she has ever done is missed it. I think it hit him so hard to his core that it did start an existential crisis and it started the crisis of, do I kill humans? Are they my hunt? Or am I to live beside them? Because technically they're my hunt. Technically, I should be hunting them and I feel pleasure when I kill them. But then I feel guilty about feeling pleasure about killing them, you know? It's like this whole crisis in his head and I get it, I really do, but it's just when, we, when you just thought that you were making progress, when we thought that it was getting better and Damon was getting better at handling things, he goes and does that and it's just, ugh. Oh, such a big letdown it really is now let's talk about rose i'm sad about it i really am it really did put me down because i did enjoy her she was a good character she was a character she was a vampire who'd been around for like what 540 years and yet in all of that time she still missed her humanity she never gave up on her humanity she never liked killing she never enjoyed the hunt even though it gave her pleasure even though she's meant to she never enjoyed it she never wanted to do it and to have a vampire that old, that strong, that knowledgeable, that wisdomous around was so nice to have. So to have her gone again and us to be reset back to Stefan and Damon being the, well, and Caroline being the only vampires in town. It's like, oh, I'll miss her. I really will. Now, John being back, I'm not happy about it. I will never be happy about it. John can go fuck himself for all I care. I hate that man. Like, I've just edited episodes 21 and 22 for YouTube, so it's fresh in my mind, everything that John did. And I hate him so much. I will never forgive him for Anna. Anna is the one thing that I always go back on, because fuck you. The way that she, he just brutally killed her, I just, ugh. It, it angers me, because again, it's another character that I enjoyed. Now, speaking of people that I hate, fuck you, Jules. I hate her. I, ah, oh, the anger that I feel towards her right now, I just... If I could come into the show and kill her myself, I would. Because fuck you. You took one of my favorite characters away from me just because Damon pissed you off. Like, my God. And she evidently doesn't have a good opinion of vampires because she said the only cure is a stake through the heart. So she considers them the enemy. Now, she did say that she has friends on the way who are also werewolves, which it still has me thinking, is there like this group of werewolves who are always in contact with each other? Are they an actual like established group? that are like on the underground that vampires don't know about. Because that could be very interesting. And also, I have wondered, can a vampire bite kill a werewolf? That's my question. Because it seems so strange that werewolves have this one up on a vampire. Why do they have a way to kill a vampire, but a vampire doesn't have a way to kill them? It just seems strange, unless because vampires are immortal, whereas werewolves are not. But then we haven't ever got the confirmation are werewolves immortal? Is Jules going to stay the way she is for the rest of her life? Or will she grow old and die? I feel like they grow old and die because the reason vampires are immortal is because they die in the process of becoming vampires. Whereas werewolves turn based on killing someone. So I don't know. I wouldn't think that they are immortal. Now, Elena, on her drive to be killed, 
It is very evident she has given up. Again, another reason why I loved Rose so much. The amount that she was hammering into Elena that she deserves to live, she should live, she should want to live was just so beautiful to see. And all of the things of telling Elena that I miss my humanity is the one thing that I've never been able to let go of. And it's the one thing that's kept me going. All of these truths that Damon will never tell anyone to have Rose tell Elena was just beautiful to see. So I did really enjoy that. But I'm hoping that this episode has been a drive for Elena to do better. And it seems like she did because when she was talking to Stefan at the end, it seemed like she was on board with talking to Isabel. However, the way that they're going to talk to Isabel is through the wanker John. So we'll see. Now, Caroline, Tyler, and Matt. I just love triangles as some of the most annoying things in television. I really don't enjoy them. They just piss me off a lot. Especially when you've got a love triangle of a girl and then two best friends. It's like, ugh, it's just so cliche. But we'll see where it goes because it's a bit different because... Caroline wants to be with Matt, but then she's also having these weird feelings about Tyler. But then it also seems like she doesn't really want to be with anyone. She's had enough of being confused. So we'll see what her actual thought process is in the future. But Tyler and Caroline, I don't know. Now, Tyler himself, it's like I was saying, when you've got someone like Caroline who is actually caring about Tyler and wants what's best for him, but she's lying because she's been told that she needs to keep it secret and it's for his own good and all shit like that. The problem with that is, while that may have been true in the beginning, with Jules coming along and being a negative influence, but telling the truth, anyone who tells you the truth over someone who's lying to you is going to seem like the better person and they're going to have a one-up on you because it's that element of trust. It's the way that they build a false sense of trust by simply telling you the truth. So I hope that he doesn't go down the route of following what Jules wants and listening to Jules and not Caroline because we all know Caroline does actually care about Tyler and Jules does not seem like a good person. Like who's Jules to say that vampires are so fucking horrible when we literally saw the episode begin with her having murdered people in the woods and then actively, while not a wolf, murdering a policeman. Like, come on, so fucked up. So we all know that she is not a good person with good intentions. It's that it's that sad thing where you've got this person who killed, I think it was like two humans at the campsite and then killed a policeman who killed these people and her main concern was covering it up. Whereas Rose killed three people and her main concern was feeling just so fucking horrible about it. And the fact that Jules killed Rose, it just, ugh, it makes me fucking sick. The, the evil person won essentially. It's just fucking annoying. I don't know. She made me really upset, Rose. Again, it's another character who's just taken away. Like, they took Anna away in the end of season one when I really wanted her to stay around. It's just sad. But yes, anyway, on that lovely positive note, I believe that covers everything. So on to question time. So first up, we have a couple general questions. So what is your favorite storyline so far? That is a big question. I honestly, if I'm being honest, based on the fact that I'm just about to edit the episode, my favorite episode is the episode where Caroline is turning into a vampire. Not necessarily my favorite episode. It's my favorite storyline because we all know Caroline's my favorite character. I love her so much. And to have an episode not only dedicated to Caroline, but dedicated to showing us the first hours of a vampire turning and everything that's going on in their head and the confusion, the wanting to kill, the wanting to drink blood, but then also being confused as to why you are doing it. And the fact that she didn't know what was happening to her as well added to it as well. I just really did enjoy that storyline. Now, next up, who are you shipping? I don't I don't know necessarily if I'm shipping anyone, to be honest. I don't ship I do enjoy shipping, don't get me wrong. I have enjoyed shipping in my lifetime and seeing characters that I enjoy together, but the vampire diaries, the relationships between everyone is just so fucking complicated that I can see a future for everyone. Like I can see a future for Elena and Stefan. I can see a future for Elena and Damon. I can see a future for Matt and Caroline. I can see a future for Tyler and Caroline. It's like, there are just so many complicated relationships in this show that I can't really say that I'm really shipping anyone. I just want what's best for everyone. I want Caroline to find someone that is going to be worthy of her. And while I do think that with his changes and everything, Tyler could be that, it's just so complicated with the Matt thing. So we'll have to wait and see. But yes, back to episode specific questions. So what do you think of Damon's last speech and what he revealed? I, I, (laughs) this is the hard thing. I liked seeing that vulnerability of Damon. I liked, for instance, the hug that him and Elena had was so nice because you could see that turmoil in his head. 
you could see that confusion of I want to feel, I want to feel, I want to show my emotions, but then also I shouldn't show my emotions. I'm a vampire. But then if I show my emotions, am I weak? It was just like all going on in his head and you could tell it was going at a hundred miles an hour. And so to get that and to then move on to the scene when he was laying on the floor and he killed the girl, it was sad to see because Damon's made all of this progress, but hearing him say that this is his turmoil, this is the biggest struggle of his life, this is what is causing his crisis. The idea of, do I kill? Am I a monster? Do I kill? Is this what I do? It gives me pleasure, so I should do it. I'm a vampire. It's what I'm meant to do. But then do I enjoy it? Yes, but then I also feel guilty. He just has such a big turmoil going on in his head that I don't really know what to say, to be honest. I am disappointed in him. I won't lie. I am disappointed. We've come quite far with him in terms of not killing anyone. So to go back to this, it just, ugh, it muddies the waters and it takes my opinion of Damon down a bit, but I can see that he's hurting, so we'll just have to wait and see where his character goes from here. Right, next up, why do you think what happened to Rose affected him so much? I think it affected him so much because he had grown to care for someone and then they were taken away from him again. It's the eternal story of a vampire. Unless you surround yourselves completely with other vampires, you're just going to be dealing with everyone dying around you. It's the fact of life. If you're going to be immortal, people are going to die. And unfortunately, Damon hasn't really let a lot of people into his life over the years. So to have him finally let someone in and to have them taken away from him, it adds to the effect of why do I even bother? Why do I even bother trying to feel things and care about people when it's just going to cause me hurt? And also the added effect of Rose going through similar things and the fact that Damon and Rose both agreed on the idea of I loved my humanity and my humanity was the thing that I always go back to, the thing that I miss the most, the thing that I regret not having anymore. And so I think that is why it affected him so much that he saw a reflection of himself in Rose and the fact that after 540 years, she still felt that way to know that he's only lived, what, 160? My maths might be wrong, but to know that he's lived a lot less time, but has just seen someone who's lived a lot more than him also still struggling with the same issue. I think that is the main reason why it affected him so much because there was no way that he could ever escape it. Right, next up, do you think what Damon did to Rose was needed? Ugh. See, this is the thing. I enjoy the beauty of that scene because he was giving her a memory of the thing that she loved the most, the thing that she missed the most. He was giving her that memory and then he killed her while in the memory. It was like she died while happy, which was lovely to see, but I just wish that it didn't have to come to it. But then, like, they didn't have a cure. They don't know how long it would have taken to find a cure. They weren't going to get it from Jules because she's a backstabbing, heartless bitch. So, I don't know. I think it was necessary in the time because even though, even if it wasn't necessary in that second, I think it they, they wouldn't have had enough time to find a cure based on how quickly she was deteriorating. So, I don't know. It just, it just makes me so sad, to be honest. Right, next up, thoughts on Damon and how he continues to deal with his overwhelming emotions in negative ways. Yeah, that see, that's my issue with Damon. It's like, I love him as a character and I appreciate the complicated character that he is. But it's just so fucking annoying when every time he deals with such strong emotions, he takes out in negative ways. He kills someone. He gets drunk. He doesn't deal with the emotions. Elena was there. Elena was there to help him. He pushed her away. She hugged him. He could, You could see that he was breaking down a little bit, but he didn't go all the way. And so he just turned to alcohol and then he ended up killing a girl. It's like, it's just so frustrating to see. And it's the one, it's the one thing that pisses me off about his character the most. It truly does. But it makes him more complicated. It makes him more real. So I appreciate it on the character, but I can't deny that it annoys me, you know? And finally, what are your thoughts on Caroline and Tyler? I know you didn't want them to become romantically involved. Yeah, that that's that's the thing. It's like, it's like I was trying to say earlier. It's not that I don't want Tyler and Caroline to become romantically involved themselves. I don't have an issue with Tyler and Caroline themselves. My issue with the Vampire Diaries is it falls into the trap that so many other shows do in that they fail to have platonic relationships between men and women. And it just is so fucking aggravating. Like when the majority of my friends are women, but I also have male friends, you think like it's, I have friends who are the opposite gender to me and I have friends who I am meant to be sexually attracted to, but I'm not because they're my friends. It just pisses me off that you have shows like this where a straight man and a straight woman will come together. You'll be like, oh, they're really nice friends. And then they get romantically involved. It just, it pisses me off how it happens every single time. 
And it's one of those things where it's like, I don't want to have this as an issue. I just want them. <laughs> I just want people to be friends. Like, is that such a fucking big ask? <laughs> it's just so annoying. But yes, anyway, on that note, thank you very much for watching. I've left a link down below to my Patreon. We're we'll able to find the early and uncut reactions to the Vampire Diaries and all the other shows that I do. I've also left a link down below to my Twitch and Discord, so be sure to follow them if it interests you. And yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>